Brisbane, would you please stand as one for your team at today's Rugby League World Cup final? Please welcome New Zealand and Australia. We've been waiting a long time for this. The two nations that have dominated the recent World Cup competition. The Gillaroos come into this match as the defending champion. Good swarming defence by the Gillaroos. The clearing kick from Kia Morinate. Downfield, a good one too. Has turned the Australian fullback around. Plenty of pressure here. Makes a meal of a two. Fortuitously for the Australians, a knock back. Heart palpitations, Andrew. Ripping in, she plays it. She spoke about it before leading into this game, how excited she was and how much more of a relaxed player she's been since coming back from injury. She's been a whole 12 months on the sideline with a broken leg and you can just really see her coming into her own this tournament. This cuts a good break. Inside, the ball goes to Davis Wells. On the outside now to Isabel Kelly. And the Gillaroos will get the first try in the World Cup final. What a tournament she has had, Isabel Kelly. has left an indelible stamp on this tournament. Well, the left edge has been superb. This is a great play. The inside ball to Renee cuts the power, the speed, and talk about power and speed. Davis Welsh on to Isabel Kelly. The opening four-pointer to the Gillaroos. Four points to nil at Brisbane Stadium. Now the attempted conversion from 15 metres in to be taken by Caitlin Moran. Plays for North Newcastle in the Hunter Valley, in domestic footy. And got that away beautifully. Between the posts, the Gillaroos, the best possible start. They lead the New Zealand thirds by six to nil. Confronted by Steph Hancock in a big tackle. Rorta, away to the number eight, Mau Mau. Hard and straight, good chance for New Zealand now. They're five metres out from the Australian line. This is McGregor. about the ball from McGregor here. She could see it, the vision. Oh my goodness, that is a quality play here to me. Scores a four-pointer off the back of a fantastic set from the Ferns. Ten metres in from the Western Touch line. It's away okay in flight. It looks really good. And she gets the extras. And she's put on the ground. Centre field, I'm jealous of anyone that's got hair, Renee. You know that. <laughs> oh, mistake! Here's a big chance for New Zealand. A dummy by McGregor and has been taken spectacularly. And Adam G, the referee, immediately giving a penalty to New Zealand. Have you seen McGregor? Watch it again. It was Braley jumping out of dummy half and you need to be on your toes at marker with Braley. Ooh. Unfortunately, the error there and Taufa just coming across. Laura. Getting her a touch high there. She's looked no very sharp, is. McGregor. Tackle made by Taufa. Oh, short ball here. Mao Mao across the line. I don't think she's got it down. I don't think so. Number eight. And they just that time is taken away from them. We're really starting to notice that pressure now. Here's Hirame again, Renee. And Hirame, try number 13. Stop it. You've got to be better than that on your own line in a World Cup final. Well, it was a little scrum play. Muddy you. McGregor puts the ball in the scrum and pulls back. It was just a little tip on there and another four-pointer to Hirami. Now, the referee having no part of it. Caitlin Moran. She lets it go to Davis Welsh. Boot to ball. Pull it out. 
The defence comes though. Chelsea Baker. Out. New Zealand about to apply the blowtorch again. Woodman oh. runs at them. Gives it on to Hirami. Hirami trying to break through tackles. Put Police down by the veteran Ryan Sims. Oh, dear, oh. Taufer oh. also coming in to help. Now it comes to Anakua. Being outstanding oh, since she came into the game. At about the 20th minute mark, Maynard fires the ball to McGregor. O'Mealy out there now in 14. Good play. O'Mealy! O'Mealy! Beyond the 10 metre line. She stumbled. Cuts to Brigginshaw. Moran. Here come the De Rose. Yes! Caitlin Moran comes up with a beautiful four pointer. Brad Donald is happy about it. Tell all. Oh, the halves combination. It was a silky bit of play. What about the right foot from Caitlin Moran? Bang, bang. What a four-pointer to the Dillaroos, number seven. 15 metres out. 10 to the right of the post. And the Dillaroos go back to the front. 12-10. Brigham Short, just outside the road, 40. Puts that kick in, bounces on the point. And Ape Nichols Pualao has a good kick chase the Australians. Great pressure by the Gillaroos. That's how to do it. Ali Brigginshaw, the long kick and the, the kick chase plus two on the back of that. She's been excellent again today and right throughout the tournament. Early stages of the second half. Good run by Federica. Better than a good run, a great run, mate. That she's still going, Federica. Can somebody stop us? Brigginshaw, again at first receiver, kick through it, came off a Ferns player's leg, it's play on, Isabel Kelly is going to get her second try in the World Cup final. It was fortuitous, but in this game you make your own luck. Isabel Kelly, try number two for the day. Well, they certainly got a bit of luck here, Ali Brigginshaw going to the line. Federica, the ball bounces away, and what about it? Sat up perfectly for Isabel Kelly, but she was flying through, never dead on the play. Great four pointer to the center. Australia 16, leading New Zealand 10. O'Mealy, Moran wants it. On the outside, she comes to Renee Kunst, and Kunst put down by Nate. Here's Brigginshaw out of acting half. Looks up with Walton, and Eliana Walton. She's done so many times in this tournament, crashing over. Try. I'm OK with grounding. Just confirm she maintains possession on contact with the defender. So this is a good shot here. So slow here, mate, slow. She, got, she has the ball there, has possession. Still has possession, so there's a left arm around the ball. Still has it around the ball. She hasn't lost it at all. Happy that she hasn't lost the ball. Maintain possession. Still got the ball. Still got the ball. And ground the ball there. Happy with that. You got something side on from the corner, mate, boys, just for the grounding. Thanks, mate. So she maintains possession of the ball the whole time and down there. Yep. OK, mate, we'll stick with the on-field decision. So the Gillaroos leading 20 points to 10. As Caitlin Moran attempts to land gold number three of four attempts in this match. Close range, never going to miss that one. 22 to 10 in favour of the Gillaroos. Great. Moran. Moran to the line. Kick on the outside. Flying through is Chelsea Baker, who just couldn't quite get there. Not a bad idea. <laughs> What about the skills? Chelsea Baker just couldn't get a handle on it. Oh. The girls are ripping and tearing. The third end is Mario. Here we go. Crystal Murray. Ball away. Racing McGregor. New Zealand. They are back. Lovely work by the Ferns. They would not go to the ground with the football. 22-14. Well, she set up a couple of crackers today and a well-earned four-pointer. Marty Yu, she's been exceptional today. And Crystal Murray 
strong offload. And McGregor gets a four-pointer for the Ferns. 22-14 to the Jellaroos. 69 and a half gone. Nutty, 15 metres out and 15 metres in from touch. Strikes it. Flags in the air. So Centerfield, New Zealand. One of their last throws of the dice. It comes to Fortamola. And she's had an unhappy game today. Losing the ball. Caitlin Moran coming away with it for the Jillaroos. She was voted the player of the tournament coming into this match today. And unfortunately for Tawila has had her least impressive outing of the tournament. When New Zealand really needed her to be at her brilliant best. Taufa staggering at the line, understandable. She can't have anything left. 42 tackles, 14 hit-ups. She's exhausted. Moran on the outside goes to Kezi Apps. Kezi Apps, half a break, brought down by Amber Carney. The Gillaroos are not done with. 30 seconds remaining in the World Cup final. Steph Hancock. Herself. New Zealand players laying everywhere. Braley goes out. A field goal coming up to Caitlin Moran, and there it is. She's got it. Caitlin Moran has got the field goal, and the Dillaroos defend their World Cup. And we'll wrap it up here today. Here it is again, Caitlin Moran, beautifully positioned, bang! Straight over the black dot. 23 to 16, full-time score.